right guys we are packing up and getting uh, things buttoned up in here a little overwhelmed just trying to get everything in here and not forget anything I know if we forget anything we can always get it on the road if it's not horribly important but uh, anyway so far it looks like we've got the room we need with this not a very good night's sleep last night but uh, that's just nerves and whatnot uh, Brenton's over here working on his bike. He come in last night. We uh, had some steaks on the grill and he's trying to get his stuff or in order and I'm trying to get mine in order and then we're gonna get out of here and I think our nerves, both of us, so will settle down once we get rolling just because you just gotta get out on the road and try and get some of those jitters out. Everything, get, it, get in its place, probably move things around nine different times just to find the right hitch in the giddy up but anyway yeah that's about it we got a couple things to do yet uh, this morning and that's about it so we're gonna keep keep on packing away here well guys uh certainly a smile from ear to ear in many ways because it's 50 60 miles in already and you know it's you can you can feel the weight of some of the stuff that has kind of relieved i mean it's you're taking on a big adventure and and anxiety really can pump into you when you're doing this i mean everybody and anybody that's ever done these things you know itchy boots or any of these big youtube people that are doing bicycle motorcycle things they have they have the stress in and i've heard it in their in their videos where they've said man when we start out we were really amped up and so i'm kind of that way but i feel a little bit of weight uh dropping um awfully hot today probably 85 86 not a drop of wind it's really kind of rough but we're gonna make it to uh, work we're gonna pump out another 100 150 miles i kind of know a little bit where we're gonna try to me and brenton's gonna try to find a little place to to camp out but we'd never want anything right now because it's so hot and we're gonna hit a lake and get a little dip and anything but anyway enough said guys i, I feel a lot better it's nice having you guys along on the trip peace out Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna take a little dip here on uh, this is a Lime Lake, and and <clears throat> yeah, uh, you know if you watch Brenton stuff there, he, you know you're gonna see that he talks about the weather and and I did when I came through one of the little towns back there, I seen it was 89 degrees, so we are pushing 90 degrees, and it's we kind of did this because we got to put a little spring in our step. We neither of us really slept great last night, so. Put a little spring in our step and then we'll try to continue on down to Jackson. But you can see this is not really bad. So we're gonna refresh and get back on the road. Well guys, you know I like to look at the boats and uh, check this uh, old uh, houseboat situation. Uh, I thought it was fiberglass, but I actually think it might be steel. Um, yeah. Yeah, I take and put a thing, a mount back here and put a 100 horse, uh, uh, and look at all the sailboats and stuff, but you know me, I better, not, I better not get into that mess. Must be a pretty good fisheries here when it comes to the Indians, Native Americans, because they have, you know, in Ludington, we have two, two fi Indian fishing boats that actually go out and fish for the whitefish. And here you got one, there's two, three, there was a, there's about four of them here. So that's double what Ludington is. And, uh, I think there's more territory to cover, but there, maybe there's more fish here. I don't know. But uh, this is a great little, uh, this is a great boat right here. Nice full uh, full keel. It's a, a shallow draft, so it's uh, kind of nice for that. But that's a nice sailboat. But we've got some real interesting stuff in here. Um, this guy built a house on top of this boat, which is then another one over there, um, and another one in there. So it's kind of some crazy... Uh, well, guys, we're down in another little little marina. We just stopped. You know, I was always stretching, taking a breather. And uh, I seen this. I seen this actually from the road. I knew it was a Benetel. 
and it's just like whoa look at this Benetel 42 that oh and I've been in these boats so I know the layout because Captain Tom used to have a Benetel and Captain Tom and if you look back on my old video you can see the layout of a Captain Tom Captain Tom passed away I really don't know what happened but he did pass away it was very sad but he had the Benetel 42 roughly the same boat and it was just it was absolutely so beautiful inside it was such an amazing the one thing i don't like about the benetel i love the little bit of the wing keeled here and it does have a shallow draft that's nice but it doesn't have the skeg that would run down uh basically here and that would protect that rudder if a stump was to catch it but anyway that's just a little bit of that you know i try not to get too in here and doing sailboat stuff because i love them too much and not everybody wants to listen to me rant about sailboats this one got beat up on uh probably a storm that probably got probably a dock did all that and two chewed that all to hell i'm sure of that i don't not sure what this is the catalina or what this is actually i don't know all my boats that well but i don't know what that one is but it is a oh that's a uh, that's not a catalina that's a uh that's a pearson i believe because of the star that's a pearson and i only know that because i had one of course, getting that time of season where people are pulling out, uh, pulling out their boats. End of the season. Yeah, that's a sad day. I'm not gonna lie. That's a sad day when you gotta pull them out, and call it good, which they, of course, have to do all the time and uh, whatnot. But it's a cool harbor. It's a really nice place. Um, it's. Uh, I like it. Anyway, yeah, we're in Dunkirk. There's Brenton walking around. We've been doing this, doing that. So, all right, guys, talk to you soon. We basically, I'm rolling into uh, New York right now. I've only got about maybe an hour and a half, and I'll be at my daughter's. Um, I've got a lot of footage and stuff. I'm just going to have to put it together so you can guys get at least a video of, of the uh, trip so far and everything. But anyway, we made it to New York. We've gone through, uh, of course, Michigan, uh, Ohio, uh, Illinois, or... Uh, Pennsylvania and, uh, and we're now here so so you guys probably remember on the motorcycle trip to Maine we did we came through this Letchworth State Park which was they call it the, like the Grand Canyon of the East or something like that um, and I did a video on that and uh, you know I don't recall some of the stuff but I do recall being at the dam so we're basically you remember everybody knows everybody knows Danny from Danny uh, Danny Ray lives and her channel and all that but she's been so busy working as in the nursing and uh surgical tech business that uh, she's uh she she's just kind of like youtube ain't even close to what she's making so <laughs> she does her thing but uh anyway i came to visit her you guys all know that was the main trip of the of the situation to come here and then we're waiting on the farm to uh contact me uh, today or tomorrow and everything will be golden there and that's where we're going to work our way in three four days and probably take two days to get to the farm and then uh hammer down but we're going to go up and see the falls and some of the more stuff maybe some stuff i never seen on that first trip because i kind of wheeled through here and did what i did i didn't even know about this place okay guys <clears throat> this has been the digs if you will this is uh my daughter's uh boyfriend's dad's place he's a handyman guy and uh super 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 cool dude um and uh anyway we have been kind of holding up in the little bedroom here for a couple of uh, nights and so the living room it used to be a lawyer's office at one time as you can see we're working on this video for you guys and getting this thing up so we're hanging out here a few days the farm is all squared away that's where I'm heading next that's about 250 miles away it'll uh it'll end up taking us uh um I think I'll try to do it in two days. Brenton's going to be working his way back home and because uh, he's got uh, things to do. But, um, yeah, this has been uh, kind of the digs of everything, and uh, it was just worked out pretty good. Brenton's been kind of set up out back. He's got a, uh, he's got a nice little uh, spot back here, and he can stay in the gazebo which he prefers and we're going to swim in the little pool today just to catch a little bar a little bath we had a fire last night had a major cookout i should have filmed it but i didn't we've had a major cookout the past two nights just uh having a good time um he's got a little bar back here that he calls uh, gregoritaville 
and uh, we will definitely be catching up with him in Florida and staying a few days down there with him and uh, Danny will be coming down there and all those things but uh, I guess that's going to be about it for this video um, I've got uh, little bits and pieces I wanted to do some campsite stuff but uh, the time we rolled into our camps and stuff it was basically nighttime and we just uh, we, I just didn't get to uh, I just didn't get to film that um, but uh, we camped uh, three nights it worked out pretty good to get here into New York so it took us three three good solid days to get here and yeah let me see money yeah yeah three solid days um, which was 800 miles something like that I don't know it turned out pretty good it was uh, it was a really uh, nice um, easy going trip and as I say I thank Brenton for everything on that uh, situation I've got more stuff of me and him and whatnot but uh, we'll put that in the next video and uh, that's all I can say is if you want to follow along with this trip Basically, we're going to do location to location for a little bit. Um, we're, you know, basically, we're just going to go. We've made it to here to see my daughter, which was the plan for three, four days. And we're going to do the farm and we're going to spend a month there working, making some money. And then we're going to go on down to Raleigh, North Carolina and see my son for probably another 10 days there. And then we're going to make another trip down to into Florida. And we'll probably stay with a couple of friends of mine there. And we'll play around in Florida for quite a little bit exploring and bumming around. Brenton probably will be coming down to Florida. It looks like we've all made a commitment to all meet up in Florida. Again, Danny and uh, and her boyfriend, and she'll do a contract down there doing her thing. And uh, Brenton will come down and uh, be bringing his uh, girlfriend down. And um, yeah, I'll be there. Greg's going to be there. His girlfriend's coming down. So we'll have a big, uh, big meetup. Uh, I think William will be coming down in there too. So there'll be a big old meetup down in Florida, which will be really, really cool. We'll spend some time there, and then we'll start working our uh, decision-making trip of heading on out. I have somebody in uh, Texas I, uh, I want to stop and, stop and see for a few days. Then on to maybe my uncle for a little while, and then uh, working my way down or over to uh, Arizona, meeting up with a cousin there in the northern part of Arizona, kind of a not really real north, but quartzite area. Um, I have a, a, a cousin there that's a judge. She's a judge, and she wants me to stop and see. So it's all that's all the plans in that. There'll be definitely the camping stuff and all that, but it's basically I'm 60 years old. And we're going to move on to be you know staying and staying and stopping and staying a few days at people's that you know, which has all been invited. You know, the people want me to stop. That's what I want to do. It sounds great seeing people, and that's kind of our plan of attack. So uh, if you like all this and want to follow this trip and follow the uh, adventure and whatnot it's always certainly appreciated if you'd like there'll be a little donate link in the bottom here in the description uh, if you want to support the project or something like that that's always appreciated buys me a coffee buys me a uh, little tank of fuel or something like that and uh, five bucks goes a long way when it comes to 10 20 people doing that it just helps out immensely so all right guys from the wayne diaries peace out and we will see you in another day or two